Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey, what's up everyone? It's HTG Brian here, and we've got another Sniper Elite 4 collectible guide for you. This happens to be for level 2 Batanti Village. And in fact, what you can see on the right-hand side, we're going to get quite a lot of collectibles. In fact, there are 34 total collectibles, plus a key that is required in order to get one of them. So we got basically 35 collectibles. We're also going to get a trophy achievement too, and this level is crazy! You can see we spawn down in the southern tip, giggity, and we're going to make our way up and around and all over the place. We've got a couple of officers marked that are going to have some collectibles now this one's a little bit more intensive as some of these guys actually have letters to home and from home as well as miscellaneous documents on them so it gets really crazy from here on out we're also going to get those optional objectives which uh yeah so here i've got my tour guide aka tyler p what's up tyler big shout out to him for helping me get all of these and Boy, I gotta be honest, this dude has the most impeccable memory I've ever seen. And uh, although I can usually get three or four or five strung together without question, this kid can do them all. So greatly appreciate his help. Uh, like I said, he's he's like my, uh, he's like a Doug Doug. He's like a new Doug Doug added to the crew. So we've got a Doug Doug and a Tai Tai. And hey, speaking of which, we've got our first last letter, which this guy kind of walks around out here on this left spawn area. And you can see you can tag the bodies when they're down too. So if things get crazy and they will later. I promise you there's a big bomb that goes off and good guys and bad guys come out and shoot each other. You can scan the bodies when they're down to find those objects too. So uh, when in doubt, scan the man down. All right, before moving along, we're actually going to take out all three of the eagles right here. And we got the first one, the bullets away. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Ka That's right, one stone eagle down. And we're going to turn just slightly to our right. And you can see this guy's actually quite a ways away from us as far as the map goes. But that's not going to stop me from getting my long scope out and zooming in. And good thing we've got the easy mode on because it's actually really easy. No bullet drop or nothing. And wait for it. Ka -ka! That's right, and one more, and look at that. We actually can see this bad boy from right where we're standing, too. So we're going to take care of all three of these guys quick and easy. And, uh, yeah, O to the S. Speaking of quick and easy, we do have some quick links down below in the video description. If you are missing a special item, uh, feel free to search through each of those. Haha, <laughs> little, little question mark there. Uh, but yeah, so we've got all sorts of things. And speaking of questions, if you guys have anything like that, feel free to drop them down below. Uh, if you have any requests, if you need a trophy achievement video, something like that, just let us know and we'll do our best to make it happen for you. So, all right, before leaving this leftmost tip, we're going to go ahead and search on the underside here. And there happens to be a document, a miscellaneous document that is sitting right here on the old table. So, woo to the who, on to the next item, which happens to be a duty roster. <laughs> duty there's going to be uh, a couple of officers floating around in the area and i think i'm going to pull up my map and show you this one now keep in mind too if you remain stealth all of these guys should be closely to where we are showing you them so but if you break stealth if you get busted like let's say that boat sees you and starts shooting at you this officer may wander off which is why it's super important to make sure you know you can scan the bodies to find these special items as well so you can see I got the duty roster tagged and I gave a go to my shooter aka tour guide and he blasted and removed that dude's forehead for me so thank you very much no barrel for you all right another duty letter uh well I guess that's the first duty letter first official duty letter is accommodated for and uh yeah accommodated for I don't even know what I'm saying all right next up is gonna be a letter from home we won't spend much time on that flub up there this guy's actually right in between the two trucks right outside I guess it's not necessarily a castle wall but it's kind of the fortress wall here we'll go ahead and pick that bad boy up and then we'll head over towards the beach man that's right the next couple are gonna be right by the beach man but be wary of this boat now I've already kind of warned you that this guy could certainly cue off the other bad guys and scatter them and kind of remove them from where their home base is but it should also be noted too that often you can uh, hide out for like a minute or three and those guys will kind of reset to where they were not always but usually will reset kind of to where they originally spawned so all right here on the beach about halfway up there's kind of this little uh, rock point and right before it and nice little rock cavern here there is a miscellaneous document sitting there waiting for us next up we've got another one it's actually sitting in a wheelbarrow just on the other side of the cavern but watch out i actually get spotted by the boat and luckily for me nobody gets too crazily active by the gunshots as you can see my cover is blown 
And yeah, luckily, like I said, not a bunch of guys come running because we've killed all the guys. That's something I didn't mention either is that Tyler and I went through and took out all of the bad guys that were scattered throughout this that didn't have a letter to or from home or a miscellaneous document or do so anything that was important we left them and we killed everybody else i think there's one straggler or nobody as we like to call them and we get to them at some point all right this is kind of a tricky spot you got to do a little bit of assassin's creeding to get up to here uh we're gonna go ahead and show you the map real quick and this is kind of a double uh a double whammy so to speak we've got an optional objective as well as the sniper report and basically what we're going to do is make our way up inside this sniper tower. But see, this is where it gets tricky. You actually have to hop outside the window and scale yourself across. And I actually get spotted by the boat again. But luckily for me, I get just inside in time to not be fully spotted and cover blown. Look at that. That doesn't get much closer, but I make it up there. I'm going to go ahead and show you the map one more time. And now we're going to go ahead and scan this guy. Now, this sniper was a pain in that took us early. So we went ahead and took him down so that he wasn't spotting us or calling us out. Um, and I highly recommend you do the same, but just make sure you get up there and you parkour up to grab that sniper report. All right, that sniper report is officially ours, and we are off and running. And oh no, the cover is blown again. I'm not sure he saw me or if he saw Tyler, but either way, we are off and back into the mainland, away from that boat and away from trouble. So, all right, we're going to cross this bridge. Psych, we're actually going to go right alongside the ravine here and keep on keeping on up above. Now, okay, over to the left-hand side, there's like the fortress. You can see we're kind of running towards it. And I will uh, point out specifically, we're getting really close. If you get too close to that fortress entrance, which is over to our left, it will cue off kind of this cinematic action scene where those bad guys and good guys show up and it doesn't end well, pr I promise you that. We try to avoid it for as long as possible, but we cue it off a little bit sooner than we would have liked to, but we make good and you get to see some craziness, including me missing bunch of shots but all right over here in the back corner of the fortress area we actually have another last letter so we're gonna go ahead and prove it to you and here's the map just in case you were wondering where exactly we were uh, we go ahead and pick up the item off the dead body that's the crucial thing you always got to remember to pick up those items because nothing worse than uh, taking out the guy that you need and then moving on without picking up the thing that you need all right so this one is a little tricky. You know, I, I mentioned that we have a key that we need to get, but we also need to get us a safe code. Now, this particular officer has that safe code for us, and we're going to take him out and then open the safe to go ahead and get the letter to home. So uh, wait for it. Wait for it. Boo, you can shout. That's right. See, I don't even have to pull the trigger, but like three or four times in this entire video because Tyler takes out all the bad guys. And because we save it halfway through to make sure that we have all the collectibles, we don't have to do it again. Uh, it always removes all his kill count, so by the end of the video, it always looks like I do all the damage when he's the one that does all the damage. But All right, inside this little house here is where the safe is. We're gonna use that safe code that we just got off that officer outside lurking around, and look at that, letter to home is officially ours. Oh yeah. Next up is optional objective two. This one is a little bit scary uh, because that's where the entrance to that uh, the, the big bang and the big boom is. It's right down around the corner there. If you follow our direct line, you shouldn't have any problems with it. I do make note of it coming up as we kind of double back and go down. But uh, this guy, you have to kill the radio man before he radios in to other people. And look at this, I actually do some dirty work myself, that's right. And uh, look at that radio man down. But unfortunately, I was too loud. So shiving that guy right in the belly apparently made some noise. And up above on this upper area, we get this guy who happens to have the last letter. So I showed you really quickly on the map where we are. And I apologize that we didn't have him in his regular spawning area. He did take a couple of steps and wander off. But we're not too far. Now, there were a couple of nobodies, as I mentioned. And Tyler went ahead and took them both out for me. Thank you very much. Right inside this area, though, right where those nobodies were, we're actually going to find an item sitting right on this stone wall. So, booyaka show! Letter to home, two of five is officially ours. And sneaking out around the corner here, we've got another officer who happens to have a duty roster. Look at that. That was a domicidal shot right there. And we removed his dome. And, oh, he's kind of in an awkward position there. And look at that. We've got a duty roster. We got that. 
And now we can go back down and around that way, or we can double back. Now, this is a good point to go ahead and remind you that we do have quick links down below in the video description. And if you're in a hurry, feel free to use those to get to the next one, as we do show you on the map where we're going. Now, if you like actually watching us run from one place to the next, then don't use the quick links and follow along, but be careful. See, there's the entrance that I keep speaking of that will queue off. Now, it's pretty much a, a circle area, and it's like a marketplace. So there are multiple entrances to that area, so just be careful on the map when you get close to that area because, you know, and, and hey, if you kick it off, you kick it off. You could always restart checkpoint, too, and uh, just revert back just about, you know, one or two minutes, however far your last checkpoint was. But all right, so we are back to where, remember where those two trucks were? We grabbed that item earlier in between them. Yeah, we just went in the fortress wall there, and we are making our way in through this kind of city-like area. And we decided we were going to go ahead and take this officer out next because he provided problems for us in our first run through. And unfortunately, we had to do this a second time. So this is our second time. And this is literally where everything went bad for us was right here. So uh, I unfortunately got a little too close and personal, just like I am right now. And Tyler had a shot. But see, look, he comes out and Tyler loses his line of sight. And then I had to get up close and personal. And look at that. We've got him. And I'm going to go ahead and steal his duty roster yes. because... Yeah, I, I like duty, I guess. I don't know. I'm assuming that's like uh, kind of like a, a schedule, like a work schedule, a duty roster, like who's doing what duty and whatnot, but I don't know. But uh, hey, right on this pile of luggage, right by the old water fountain that happens to be missing water, there is also a miscellaneous document. So make sure you grab that before running up the old stairway up and around and grabbing that next letter from home. Now, there's one coming up here that this game is totally wonky. I don't know. It's not this one. This one's sitting on a chair here. So we're going to come all the way up and take a nice little peek out at the ocean. And, yeah, I tried to move my point of interest so we can see the map a little better. Every once in a while, you'll see me kind of move away from where we are. That's me trying to get that uh, circular overlay away so that we can actually see a little better. Because sometimes things kind of overlay and it makes it hard to see. So like that big question mark circle, but I can't get rid of it. Now this one's a little tricky. You got to do a little parkouring in and out of windows. And uh, this one happens to be sitting right on the bed there. I run right by it. Whoopsie. We'll go ahead and turn around and pick that bad boy up. It's right in that cluster of big, uh, see all those apartments or whatnots? Yeah, it's on the top floor of them though so it's kind of tricky on how you get there and if you need to go back to the miscellaneous documents five quick link and it'll take you right to the beginning and show you how to get up here now this is the wonky one now check this out watch this scan letters from home now notice that it's letters to home on my screen here w tyler goes ahead and kills him now watch this i scan or actually i don't scan him i pick it up but it's a letter to home so uh, at first i was really concerned when editing this but then i already knew we completed them all so we got to get them all, and we did get them all, so no worries there. It is a little confusing, though. The game totally makes a mistake there. It scans one way and then collects another way. So anyhow, don't let that confuse you when you're playing, too. All right, so we are making our way through the town. We're actually going uh, to this big highlight. This is the actual investigate the uh, or locate the HQ. And so you go into this kind of like underground club area, and it's not only an optional objective, but it's also uh, the miscellaneous document six. So uh, woo to the who. We'll go ahead and double check both of those off. And there's a nice little cinematic scene. And look at that. There we go. We got miscellaneous document six. I love how it counts which one you have uh, for us. I know I probably could have left the screen notes off that I put on there, the, the little icon and the letters from home three and all that, but uh, it's nice to know that, and although it shows it at the end, it's nice to see it, isn't it? I, I don't know. You tell me what you guys think. All right, we're raiding another house here, and inside we're going to find this uh, letter from home sitting right here on this desk. Now, that was a little wonky. That's because that's where we did a save point uh, after completing uh, all the way to the end uh, and then getting screwed and then coming back and then getting hosed by that officer that threw us off. And, yeah, third time's the charm. We went ahead and made sure we did a save there. So, yeah, you can't really see, but you kind of can. All right, back up through the orchard, and now this is where we're going to, as you approach the gates, the war breaks out. This is that part we've been telling you about the whole time. Unfortunately, even up on the outer skirts of the area, it still cues it off. So you can see all these guys on the map appearing out of nowhere, and carnage is ensuing. We're going to go ahead and grab this miscellaneous document off the old picnic table there, or I guess it's a picnic blanket. 
But, uh, alright, so we're going to make our way in. Now, I do remind you guys of the quick links in the video description right now because this gets a little hectic and there is a minute or three of, well, me trying to target the bad guys because we always try to leave the, the guys of importance out. Now, there are two types of guys here. In fact, there are good guys and bad guys. And the good guys are represented by, you'll see them up to the left side uh, of our screen. And the right guy, or the, the guys coming from the right are actually the bad guys. So, it's kind of nice. We're actually on the bad guy side right now, as it could turn out. And our cover is blown. Oh, no. But you can see the guys with, like, the minus rather than, like, kind of the, uh, I don't know, the bird symbol. <laughs> it's a very simple bird, I guess. But that infantry guy there, you can see how he's kind of got almost like that uh, a V. It's a very, uh, I, uh, yeah, anyway. Those guys are the bad guys. The guys with just the minus symbol are the good guys. So don't shoot them. But uh, be wary of who you're scanning or where the bad guys are. Now, as it turns out for us, both of the guys... They're so Okay, let me back up. There are three important collectibles on guys related to this carnage happening. There are two, I believe, uh, is it last letters? And then there's one duty roster. Now, for us, in our playthrough right now, uh, two of the last letters come down and they stand right there. In fact, I think that might be one of them. I don't shoot him. I'm showing the map again, and no, I take him out, so that can't be him. Or maybe I already scanned him. Maybe I, I, Yes, I did, because that's the other last letter guy right there. So we've already got a last letter on the ground, and my bad. I got a little caught up in my own commentary. I wasn't watching. But uh, So we've got both last letters right here on the ground, and so I'm going to pick this up and pick the other one up, and then we're, we're kind of like, uh-oh, where's the duty roster? you got to find that officer. And as it would turn out, there's an upper area, if you follow that stairway that I just ran away from, there is, in fact, a, an upper way that you can go, and that's where the officer ends up being. So you can see on my compass down there, Tyler's up in that right corner, and he kind of double backs and gets all the way up there. And then he finds him. He's like, hey, he's up here. And I turn around, and I run, and yep. So he's right up above me now. And see, Tyler's got the scope out, and he can see him. And there he is. So you can tell the officer because he's got that uh, the three triangles, or I guess the check mark. I don't know what you want to call them, the seagulls. Um, We'll go ahead and take him out after a couple failed shots, and that's right. So you can see on the map, he's kind of in the upper area. And here in a second, I do an overview of everything. Because I know this was chaotic, and I think it's right now. I pull up the map, and I'll go ahead and show you where the general area for these three guys is going to be. All right, here we go. So you can see right where that kind of circle, that dark circle and a round circle around, that's the basically the courtyard area that all of this happens. So you can find the guys somewhere in there, and if you don't scan them prior to shooting them, just make sure you run around and scan all their bodies. Now, I know that's not awesome. It's not ideal. We like to do better than that as far as collectible videos go, but it's kind of out of our reach it's, as the carnage kind of happens on its own. And even the good guys, even if you don't shoot those guys, you're friendly f will. So, the, the, yeah, anyhow. All right, inside this red room on the bar, you're going to find the letter to home for, and that's just right outside above the courtyard, basically. So, oh, we're doing some more rooftop running. We're going to go from one side to the other. I love the little sound effect it makes, too, like you're running. And this one is really tricky. Hopefully you don't miss this jump. Whee! It is kind of a funny angle, and it's a weird spot. I know I should have showed you on the map before I jump, but hopefully you can make it out from that. But I believe this is the only way you can get to this guy, and it's out on the ledge there, so be careful not to fall down below, too. But, oh, to the end, yeah, letter from home four is now ours! All right, next up, letter to home, or sorry, letter from home five. More rooftop running! Boy, we are getting close to the end of this. Some of these videos are kind of tough. Like, I, I know I'm just explaining what's going on, kind of a play-by-play, -play, but... Uh, you know, trying to keep it entertaining, and uh, oh, look at that, a nice little up close and personal bottle shot there. And this is another one that is really awkward and wonky, but this is the only known way that you can get there. So, uh, up in this little crevasse, drop down, and right there on the ledge overlooking the old tree farm is uh, yeah, I guess it's not the orchard tree farm. What's a tree farm? Uh, anyhow, I guess the entertainment is just laughing at me, right? <laughs> All right, miscellaneous document eight is going to be up and around and inside on this bookcase on the left as soon as you walk in. So give me a quick peek at the map there. Ooh, watch out for that fireplace. You don't want to burn up them documents. Actually, it's not possible. Don't worry about it. All right, up into the main part, we got uh, some friendlies. So here we go. We've got an optional objective. We've got to go ahead and inspect that graveyard. But inside that graveyard, there's actually a collectible. So we're going to go ahead and sneak into this church. And on the left-hand side, we find the mausoleum key. Now, I'm not sure why it showed that we picked up two keys. 
Um, I don't know if it represented one for me and one for him. Maybe he picked one up and I picked I'm not exactly sure what happened, but you only need one, and this is where you use it, right into this little tomb. We walk inside, and guess what? Not only do we get to inspect the graveyard, but it also counts as miscellaneous document nine. So, uh, double whammy. Gotta love those. And last but not least, oh, yeah, let's take a quick peek. We got all of those optional objectives checked off now. And we're going to go ahead and bail out and follow Tyler all the way across and down. Well, look at this. We're going right back through that marketplace. But this time, we're going to hang a Louie and go around the outside. So... Yeah, instead of going up and around, we're going out and around. And all right, eventually we're going to get to this last letter to home. And guess what? We only have one more collectible after this, and that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for Batanti Village. So this one's uh, sitting right here. Looks like somebody was having a couple of drinks and left it behind. And we're going to hop over the ledge and do some more parkouring out. Oh, watch out. And up and around. And guess what? The final one. Oh, yeah, we got to breach the main gate first. Warp, 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 warp. All right, so there's two gates to this end part of the mission. Uh, breach the first one, and it will not affect your... Like, like, it won't leave the level or anything. You're good to go. Uh, I'm showing you on the map right now. He is placing the C4. As you can see, he's running. I guess it's just a satchel charge. And once it goes big bada boom, we'll go ahead and enter that. And like I said, there's a secondary wall that you have to take out. So don't take out that next wall. First, go and get this collectible, which is in this little room on the right-hand side. And it's kind of hard to miss, actually. So unfortunately, I could not get all that text overlay away. And so you'll have to hopefully just use that map. And all right, booyaka shao, miscellaneous document 10 of 10. And that actually concludes all of our collectibles. So we're going to go ahead and check them out. Look at that. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 10, 10, 1, 1, 4, 4, 3, 3. Woo-hoo. Now, if you're looking at the challenges, I know we're not doing those challenges. And, you know, we might come back and do those. As far as we can see, though, they are not related to the trophy achievement. So uh, that being said, you know, we may come back and do videos for those. We may not. It just all depends. But nice little cut scene to roll us on out to that final screen. And I'm pretty sure here... Uh, I know on level three for sure, it looks like I am an all-star mercenary while Tyler is <laughs> still rolling his training wheels. But as it turns out, he like I said, he's the one that's taking out all the bad guys. He's the one that's leading us to the collectible. So realistically, without him, I would just be nobody. And look at this. Yep, <laughs> 16 and 6. We certainly killed a lot more guys than that. But for whatever reason, it reset all of them. To be honest with you, he probably killed like 50 guys total. And then I killed like 16 total. So that's the reality of that. So shout out to Tyler P. again for helping out. Uh, much appreciated. Also, Dougie Doug. Doug's actually provided a couple of screenshots that have helped us find some eagles and stuff too. So much love there as well. As for me, uh, you know what this screen means. That's going to wrap it up for uh, Sniper Elite 4, Level 2, Batanti Village, all collectibles. And hey, if you guys have any questions, comments, things like that, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply comment, vote, subscribe down below. We also have all of our links to the collectibles as well as to our social pages in the video description so you know take 30 seconds look at that stuff read it click it enjoy it all that so as for me that's gonna do it for right now um as always until next time <laughs>